Ah, another beautiful day in the Let's Play world. We are going to start on our prison today. Welcome back to the Let's Play. Um, I'm starting to build the wall here. I think this looks pretty cool. This is going to be the outside wall of the prison. I'm using tough. But this is not going to be your regular prison. This is going to be a prison for Minecraft and for my city. We have laws here. I want this jail to be a little bit corrupt. Now, I'm not necessarily going to make torture chambers, although I might. But the laws in my city are very lenient. The people who come here are the ones who do very, very bad things. But we'll worry all about that once we start building the inner building. Let's get this wall around the outside made first. Or perhaps I should build the building on the inside first so I'm not so restricted. All right, I'm finally getting some ideas here. We got the first cells at the first floor being made. So again, this is not gonna be a conventional prison. This is gonna be a hardcore prison. So I think I'm gonna have two. If I really want to, I might even have three levels. This is gonna be a balcony. I'll add a staircase to get up there, but most of the cells are just going to look like this. It's gonna be one long hallway like this, as you can see as well. I'm gonna have a hole in the floor. This is gonna be like the Sparta hole. If you've seen the movie 300, where Leonidas kicks people in the hole. So I'm gonna have some sort of tram across the ceiling that has prisoner cages. So maybe it can be lowered towards whatever prisoner needs to get in it. Then it'll come out in the middle, come over this way, and maybe hold it over this, and then the bottom opens and they get dropped to their death. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's gonna be hardcore. Yeah, I got a watchtower here. I think that I'm gonna have them in all four corners. And I think even back here I have a cool idea, so... I just need to keep building. I need more tough already, though. Okay, we have a ceiling. I have a weird obsession with domed ceilings, so even though this is a prison, you gotta make it look nice. I'm mixing it with, like, this old-school look, and it's gonna have some technology in it, such as this monorail right here. This is going to be carrying one of those cages, but it's gonna have one of them arms on it that has, like, a few joints on it, so it could reach any of these if it wanted to, and then it pulls it out this way. <laughs> And then goes over the hole of death that I'll make here soon. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have any, you know, yard where there's gonna be basketball court or anything. This is literally just a hardcore prison where you just go to your cell. And you were either picked for the hole of death or to go back into society. <laughs> just put in the rest of my barbed wire. Wow, I have a lot left over. I thought I was gonna use it all. Oh, crap. I forgot. I'm gonna put guard towers in these corners. Dang it. I'm putting deep slate across the whole roof. Oh, look at this thing. It's starting to look intimidating. So I believe this, I'm gonna, I don't think I'll keep this little square right here, but this is where the warden is gonna be and where you check in or whatever, drop off your stuff and get thrown into one of your cells. Not yours, theirs. <laughs> this place is getting kind of scary looking. Just ignore all the freaking mobs. It's ruining the atmosphere. Bob, actually, you know what? I didn't notice this. I clicked the option in the settings for trade rebalancing or whatever, and look at Bob's new trades. You can actually trade him something that's not an emerald. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, I have this little entrance here. Um, we're about to work out here some more, but I it's just gonna be very simple. This is a very bare bones prison. I'm gonna hop up here real quick and create that crane I was talking about, or cage thing. <laughs> Got two dispensers. We're gonna do something like that, like that, and like that. One more. I'm gonna do that, 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 that. Ow! Yeah. Okay, I like that. It looks very modern, but I like it in this setting for some reason. It's like it was an old prison and we just built this very futuristic arm thing. The cage is gonna be right underneath it, but I'm thinking, should I put it over this as if it's about to drop someone? And instead of making a pit of death with spikes at the bottom, I was thinking about making a giant room down there that's all dark and mobs spawn and they just drop them in there and then get eaten up alive and then oh okay I might do that all right that's looking pretty evil I like it <laughs> hey listen I know this is all really evil but it's Minecraft it's a video game who cares so uh, yeah um I think I really want to do that idea of making like a dark cavern down there and putting skulls and just bones from people that were sentenced to death <laughs> such as you Bob <laughs> I get my hands on you. Oh, what do I do now? There's still so much to do. Oh yeah, I want to attempt to make a wagon. So as you know, the wagons I make in my world, I carry supplies. Um, I want to make one that looks like it's a jail wagon. So people who are brought here, but it's gonna be obviously parked somewhere. I'm kind of scared to check. 
I've been blowing through my iron like crazy. Why is my door open? It's like opening your banking app on your phone. You're like scared to check what your balance is. <gasps> Nothing. Um. Well. Uh. Oh look, I even cheaped out. There's no blocks right there. Oh my gosh. Prison is looking pretty cool. I mean, look at that. Oh. I got the lighting set up. I got some pathways. I even put a smokestack up here. I have some little smokestacks over this way. I'm putting crates around. Here's my little village transport design. <laughs> it's very simple and old school looking, but I kind of like it. Again, all we really have is carriages in this world that horses pull. We don't believe in cars. But yeah, I'm trying to put up some lighting. Um, I think on the inside, uh, lighting is gonna be an issue. I actually wanted iron golems to patrol these outside areas, but there's too many dark spots. Like they'll just get demolished by mobs. In here, I'm gonna have to figure out some sort of lighting technique. Oh, I still got the floor to do. Oh no. What? No, oh, nothing's going on up there. Oh, look at this view. Oh, who's that? I kind of miss this shop being open. Back when I was a little slime, my parents took me here to get some of my toys. I need to go get those toys. They're still out of my chest at the old house. You, sir, are going to prison for being involved in the heist of that bank. Yeah. <laughs> I think these uh, nitwits will be perfect for the prison because they can't take any professions and they all will look like they're wearing the same thing. So anytime I get a nitwit, I'll probably take them out to the prison. And yes, it's going to be one of you guys. Yeah, yeah, this is a long process. This is what I deal with. You're still here? What are you waiting for? Oh, I have to edit it and cut it here? Oh, my bad. Okay, we have some people here. This is going to be our warden. I think a leather worker looks fine. It's like his torture belt. He does all the... Oh, that's terrible. And then I put him in the first cell here. I need to put some beds down. There's your bed, good sir. I'm glad you like it. There's your cauldron, good sir. I'm glad you like it as well. That looks fitting. Yeah. Okay, time to design these jail cells. They're not gonna look pretty. We're just gonna have white beds in most of them. You can have that one. Yeah, you got your bed, you can have a little table and a place to wash your hands. Ha, <laughs> you thought. I do have lots of lanterns in here, which looks fine on the outside. On the inside, it's really dark though. There's definitely gonna be a mob that can spawn in here, so. Guess we'll go with a different style of table. Um, you like that? Is that nice? Uh, will a mob spawn in here? I don't think so. I think the light levels are high enough. Ah, uh, we'll see. If he dies, then I'll replace him because that'll be my fault. Okay, um... <laughs> I think I'm gonna like this. Maybe, you know what, since the nitwits have green on, I should probably dye this leather green. That could be like the color of this prison. But, uh, this was all I've been working up for right here. And you know what? I kind of like it. Oh wait, you can change his pose. What should he be doing? Oh, it looks like he might be holding on to the bar. Someone could be dancing. Woo, look at him go. I kind of like that one. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, that looks good. Oh man, this prison's gonna be cool now that we have piglin heads. I love the idea of the piglins being kind of the bad guys in the world. Obviously, we're gonna have villagers in here. Get you a little light. I do have concepts in my mind that just seem like the coolest idea, but I don't do them because I feel like it would be too difficult. And sometimes I feel like that's what stops me from building something really cool. But my concept was, is have a normal prison like this, but also similar to what I was going to do in my little bar, is half of the prison have a giant portal. And you walk through that portal, and it takes you into another side of the prison that looks the same, but it's nether based. So that's where all the piglins would be, and then you could even have piglins roaming in the center, and it's kind of hostile when you walk in because they'll obviously attack me. Should I have approached that concept? Because it sounds really cool. Oh, my computer's doing that. Oh my gosh, just so many things are messing up with my computer. I don't mean to use you guys as a dumping ground to complain, but it even happened during, while editing this video. One of the problems I've been having a lot is there's crackling and popping from recording, and I don't know why. I just use OBS. I don't think it's my microphone. I've been trying to diagnose this forever, but you've probably heard it a lot in this episode, just like random crackling and popping in your ears. It's been doing that for the past year, and I have not been able to find it. Someone said you can strike this. 
And you could summon lightning. <laughs> they lied to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's probably a bug and they fixed it. But another thing is this computer, if you don't touch the keyboard for more than a minute, the first key you touch doesn't work. So a lot of the times when I press my record button, it doesn't even record and I have to re-record clips so often. That's my crotch. And I update the drivers and I do everything I can to keep this computer up to date, but I don't know. Might be like a factory problem. This is going to be Warden Charles Brown. Congratulations, you're the warden. And this is going to be Hunter Rigdon. <laughs> Sorry, Hunter, I know you were an early donor, kind of. And you finally got yours, and you're in jail. Shouldn't have robbed that bank, man. I guess I'll do that, since you can't see their names through this. That means I get to name you. Eh, I don't want to just call him Fred or Jeff. I'm not putting my villager donors on here, so... Uh, I guess I'll go, like, for, like, Viking names. It's just... They need to have something interesting. Gun- gun healed. Hey. Hey you. You wanna hear me complain again? No? Oh. Well I'm going to. I used two name tags on this and it cracked. Name tags. Not a tool where you pound an anvil with a hammer and there's a possibility of it cracking even though that wouldn't even happen. Name tags. Name tags. Two name tags and I cracked an anvil that costs like 36 iron ingots to make. Remove breaking anvils when you name stuff in the game. Makes no sense. <laughs> Does this color look better? Yeah, matches the nitwits. <laughs> yes, I'm putting one in here. It looks awful. Looks like he's begging for his life. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Not him suffering, but this guy looks like he's pointing at him too. Like, no, I know him. Hi, Warden. I need some clothes and a bed. Thank you. I love all these poses you can do. I wish maybe they had some, you know, ones where they can crouch, but I understand that would probably be a little bit difficult, but I like this one here. It looks like he's leaning up against the wall. This is a uh, dag. <laughs> I don't want to put beds for these guys because villagers in the future might take them, so I just put down something like that. And the last one will be Inga. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get more heads now because I'm all out. Um, enjoy your time here. I really like this. I love seeing all these piglins everywhere. We'll bring some more villagers here over time. Maybe even someone from the city that's already, you know, a villager. Maybe they do something bad. This thing is pretty much finished. Well, the building part of it. If you didn't notice, I had a gate back here. And I was planning to build something back here, and I did. So, yeah. <laughs> I have these starvation cages where the seagulls of the sea can come pick away at your carcass once you die. I need to put a skull in there, actually. I think I want a couple of them out here, and I might change the wood to dark oak, because this wood does not look good with dirt in the background, if you haven't noticed. At least, I think so, as you can see. Uh, yeah, see, it just blends too much in with that dirt, so you don't even notice it. Oh yeah, I like that back here. It's a good little detail. Look at that. I have never been back here, as far as I remember, and there's a little cave I explored. This is probably old pocket edition next Wow! Wow, that was an amazing cave. Oh, it looks even- oh, even with the soul lantern, it looks a little creepy. Hunter? Can you live with this? It looks a little creepy in here. Hunter? No! No! Son of a- My reaction times are so much slower in RTX because it's just the game is more frame ratey. <laughs> Oh, you mad? I'm sleeping in your bed. Wait, I locked myself in here. Okay, so I do need to put something up here. I'm probably just going to put windows of some sort. Wow, it is dark in here. Where is the button? There. Oh, daylight. Yeah, because it's very plain on the outside and it's pretty dark on the inside. I don't know how I'm going to approach this one. I guess we can just build it together and see how it turns out. Whilst I am building this, I will answer some questions. I got a couple, kind of, from AdamTasticTV9928. How did you plan out your town slash city in terraforming the land to make it flat? And have you ever used cheats in your world? Thanks. I planned it out by simply just building with the land. I didn't, the only part I terraformed was when I wanted a section flat. I made it flat by just placing stone forever. But there is some elevation within my city, and the only reason I did that is because if it's all flat, it would be so boring. So, for example, like when the road goes down a bit, it only does that to just add a little bit of variety. I got a little bit of sunlight. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I mainly build buildings first, and then I think about the terraforming later. 
I don't like plan out the city. I just build a building and then build another one next to it, so on and so on. So uh, yeah, I feel like I did share a lot of ways how I did kind of expand my city uh, as I built my city. So if you ever need help with them, just go back to those episodes where I was building new buildings. I guess I'm gonna do something simple like this. Give me that block. Yeah, I like that. And the other question, it was much longer than this, but I just shortened it quite a bit from, L oh gosh, Lemay, Lemate Reconstructor. Lemate Reconstructor <laughs> asked thoughts on the new mob, and they were saying how much uh, they said they play The Witcher 3, and it reminded them a lot of the swamp monsters. And I thought so too, but what I didn't realize is there's already a very closely resembling Witcher type mob in the game, and that's the Drowned. It is literally, like when it came out, it's quite like the Drowner from The Witcher 3. So I think that's more tied to a Witcher 3 mob rather than this new bogged skeleton. But yes, I do love the idea of more kind of creepier mobs making their way into the game instead of... I mean, the breeze is cool, but it's not creepy. Like, I actually did not get scared at all when I fought it the other episode. If you didn't know, we did go find it and fight it. Because you take no damage from it. I guess it's meant to be a playful mob. Um, yeah, it just literally knocks you around, so... And mine was invisible. <laughs> I don't know if they're meant to be invisible or what I did wrong. Probably just a bug. Yeah, that looks good. I like that little pane of iron there. Adds a little bit of daylight. Maybe I could add some... See, no, it needs to be dark in here. Oh, look how realistic the cell is. It's like, oh, sunlight. I wish I could be out there. I think that's going to be about it for today. We're going to get on with this maybe next episode because I do have some ideas and I'm really honestly thinking about the whole nether side of this. The only problem with that is, is all of this is too close to my house. So if I did make a nether portal here, the other side of the jail would literally be in my little nether hub area and that wouldn't really look that good. So I got to plan a lot of this out. I'm going to bump this baby all the way up. Oh gosh. There's our prison. <laughs> Is this the kind of prison you guys imagined when I said I'd make it? I mean, I actually really like how it turned out. It's kind of random right now because it's just in the middle of this boring Minecraft terrain. But maybe eventually we'll start building up on these mountains or something. I just want to thank some very kind donors to end off this episode such as... Oh, these are last episode. Elliot Russell, thank you for your donation. And Ryan Browning, once again. Ryan, you are always throwing out them 60s to me, and I just, <laughs> that's so thoughtful of you. So thank you once again for that very thoughtful dono. Are you in here? There you are. Thank you. I appreciate it. What even are you? Huh? I said, what even are you? Oh, you're a shepherd. I mean, you're my nuclear technician. Thank you so much, Ryan. You are pretty cool. What was that? I heard someone running. I think it was a bat. And a new face, Trent McKay. With a 60 as well. Holy moly. You made it in the villager book, of course. That is very kind of you, Trent. Thanks for supporting my channel. It helps a ton. Trust me. I'm going to end my episode here now. Um, and fix my machine. Like I said, I don't normally like using mending. But when it comes to clearing out a lot, I use these two. But I've been really abusing it, and it, it almost feels like a drug. Like, I'm addicted to these. I need to put them away to go through my cycle of retiring tools. That's almost broken. This is an old sword that needs to be retired. Anyways, guys, this will be the last video before my vacation. I'll only be gone for a week, and then I'll be right back to video making. Um, so I'll see you after that, I suppose. Thank you, everyone, for watching and all your support for the years. Why am I sounding like I'm ending it forever? I'm not. I'm just thanking you because you guys are awesome. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Pretend I'm waving. <laughs>